Hi everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World, and um, I was asked to sort of confirm the resolution output of the Lenovo Duet when it's e connected to an external video source, which it is right now. This is plugged into an LG 4K monitor, and it's plugged in right through USB-C, as you can see. Now, the uh, video I put out prior to this one actually went through an Elgato capture card so I decided to go ahead and plug it straight into the video source itself and see exactly what the video source was rendering out to so let's uh, I already know the answer to this of course but I would like to show you up here I can just flip my monitor on and as you can see it is definitely 1080p but it's at 30 Hertz not every monitor will do 30 Hertz unfortunately so that could be a definite tragedy for anybody who's considering this device who needs an external device an external screen that will do 1080p 60 but something I did find out as I was digging around is if you go into the settings of the duet and you actually select the monitor in question which in this case is my LG 4k this out a little bit you can actually go down and it will show you the resolution that it's currently on which right now it says 1080p 30 Hertz for sure so what else can you do with this you can do six essentially 60 Hertz in 720 you can do 60 Hertz at 768 and you can do it at 480 uh, 720 and 640 you can do 59.97 in a couple of uh, or 59.9x if you'd like at other resolutions. So I'm going to flip over to um, that and see if my monitor will behave. And so far, um, it is not. It will not behave in that resolution with that uh, setting. So let me go back here. Funny, it's fine with 30 hertz, which cracks me up. Oh, actually, it um, decided it didn't want to play back when I flipped it back over. Let me. Go back. Very interesting. I'm going to reset this. I'm going to plug it back in. Wait a second. It's hard to do this with one hand. Let's see if it'll pop itself back up. There we go. So now I'm back at 1080p 30, which again is not going to work for everybody. So I'm going to I'm going to switch back to uh, another resolution. So let's say um. I bet I could do uh, I bet I could do 720 just fine. Let's see how that behaves. Mm, it doesn't like it doesn't my monitor does not like that switching. I'm going to unplug and plug back in real quick. See if I can do it before the um, resolution change happens. It's funny that mine will behave in that resolution. Okay, I'm back to 30 hertz again. So let me see if I can get 72060 out of this thing. Maybe if I flip inputs and then flip back, see if it'll behave. I may have to actually confirm the setting. Hang on. It's going to flip back here. Let me do this. Let me change to 72060. Just did that. I'm going to confirm it so that it stays fixed that way. And then I'm going to um, unplug and plug it back in. It's definitely finicky. I still can't believe the Elgato was behaving. It must have rolled down to a lower resolution. Okay. There we go. All right, now I'm back online. Let's see here. Um, I physically had to disconnect. That's how I got that to work. Oops. Put that. I don't do this part very often. So if we go to information, you can definitely see we are at 1280 by 720 at 60 hertz. So it looks to me like if you're looking for a 60 hertz solution, you are definitely going to be limited to a certain set of resolutions. And those resolutions, as you can see right here, uh, which is unfortunate. Now, I, I would be curious as to how many monitors actually do behave at 30 hertz? I don't know the answer to that one, but I do know that if this is something that's um, super important to you, yeah, my monitor will not will not uh, behave until there we go. Um, but obviously, this could be a this could be a, a killer point for you. Uh, and of course, uh, as you know, that you can use uh, extended display or or mirrored um, mirror. You can use mirrored display on here, right? Yeah, mirror built-in display. So you can do a mirror or you can do the extended display. 
And you can, of course, flip the 4K or the external device. You can flip that over to be your primary display as well. So there you go. There's the answer to your question. Um, sorry I did not include that in the last video, but now we have the answers and you can see right on the device itself what it's capable of. So uh, hopefully maybe that can be fixed in the future with a software upgrade. We can hope. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.